Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the Tech and Reviews. In today's video, let's quickly check how to reduce the in notes from you no, know, it might be close to 70, 70,000, or it will be equal to 70, 000, 75,000. Let's see how to reduce this and bring it down to you know closer to 10,000. So, right now, if you see it's 23,000, and I'll uh, bring it closer to 75,000, and I'll show you how to you know bring it down to 10,000. So, yeah, without wasting time, let's get in the video. Please enjoy. So yeah, as I was saying, uh, today's video will be about in notes. In notes are combinations of files and folders. Uh, it includes all the logs, everything, and that will be accumulated and uh, you know it'll be shown here. So right now there are about twenty-three thousand uh, files and folders which they are seeing, which includes everything as part of this um, you know um, shared server which I'm using. So let's try to bring this uh, closer to 75,000 and see if we can reduce it to you know, 10,000. So what you have to do first is uh, we'll go to JMeter. This I'm just using you know to you know run this and uh, increase uh, the notes closer to 75,000. So what I'll be doing is first I'll be increasing the notes to 75,000 by continuously hitting the server. Uh, using this JMeter, so I'll be using JMeter just to increase the count there. Mm, uh, nothing else, you don't have to use this. So, right now I've set it as 100 users, so I will be you know used to run this simultaneously and uh, increase the in notes to closer to 75,000. So, let's start this and start this one. So, if you see, it will start running. So it's running now so let's wait for some time and come back and after that let's see what is the count and then try to and then try to reduce it to 10,000 so as you can see oh, it's 75,000 so it has you know completely utilized all the notes that's uh, available for this account and I can stop the JMeter now So I've stopped the JMeter. So the first thing what you need to do is uh, scroll down and go to terminal. Click on this and open it. So once opened you should see a terminal coming up here. So next is uh, this is the first command which you need to run. We know this will list out all the uh, nodes uh, in sorted manner so you'll have to give the username that's uh, which you have set it for your account I'll give mine once uh, you made the changes to the username just paste it here and click on enter so it will list down all the nodes that's available on the left hand side you can see the count uh, where it is uh, being used the highest so if you see here 66,000 is the highest one and that is being used for sessions so each time a website is visited a session in a file will be created and uh, that is stored in this particular library of your uh, directory so lib php and session so there are 66,000 uh, files so we need to delete this one this is the main file which will easily solve the you know uh, in nodes issue so we need to clear all the session you know logs that's available or the session files that's available so for that what we need to do is so for that what we need to do is you need to use this command so these are the this is the command for removing the file forcefully and recursively you need to remove all the files in each path which i showed earlier so the main path is this one the first one so you can copy this make changes to the home directory username that's uh, set for your account so i'll make changes to mine and add it in the terminal so once if i paste this here and click on enter so you may see this error argument list too long if uh, the file uh, you know count is a lot then you'll get this error 
to solve this error what you can do is you can use this command um, you just need to make the changes and you need to give the uh, username uh, you know for which is set for your cpanel directory so and you can delete all the files at once copy this make the changes accordingly I'll make the changes and paste it there so once I paste this over here and press enter it will take some time uh, not more than a minute and it should clear all the files that's available in that session in a folder so it has successfully cleared uh, all the files that's available in session folder now if you go and check that same thing and hit enter you can see that the 66 or the 66,000 uh, count is gone now all the files are removed from that so this is one way to you know clear that now if I go to uh, the cpanel dashboard you can I can see the count now it, it will take some time it is not quick also you can recheck the session folder by using this uh, you know command I'll list the folder and uh, see if there are any files so you need to provide the root directory name so there are some new files that has come up uh, maybe after clearing there were new visits to the onto the website and new session files were created now what we can do is next thing is we can automate this one so that uh, we can you know uh, create whenever the session is cre uh, created we can delete it automatically there are two ways uh, before that let's check uh, uh, what is the node count that is shown in the dashboard if I go to dashboard by clicking on this tools So if you see here now the in nodes is changed to 8000 from 75000 it has uh, you know reduced a lot from 75000 has come to 11.18 percent so what we need to do is we uh, need to automate this one for that we need to create a cron job that is one way and there is another way also which we can make use of by using the INI editor if uh, this is provisioned by your uh, you know provider the hosting website then you can make use of that as well if not then you can create a cron job if I click on this cron job so you can open this cron job and uh, click on uh, common settings and you can select once per day so that you can run this cron job once per day and then you need to run this command so if you see here this is a command here you can uh, set the value uh, how old uh, session files you need to delete the session file is greater than one or two whatever you want if it is greater than two then it will be deleted if you set as one the files which are older than one or uh, one day it will be deleted you need to provide your uh, directory name so I'll just provide mine so you can copy the command and paste it over here um, you can change the home directory name to yours and click on add new cron job once added it should come something like this so and it will run daily uh, if you want you can edit or delete it later as well so that's how you automate that's one way to do it via cron job and the next way is uh, click on tools and if you come to php ini editor and here you can click on editor mode and from the drop down you can select your website so once selected you should see something like this option coming up you need to add this th three lines so uh, and the max lifetime you can set it to whatever you want you can just set it to 1440 uh, which means 20 minutes for you know showing this uh, demo I have increased it so that the session files don't get deleted immediately so you can set it to 1440 I will put all the commands in the description so here you need to put this command I'll show you that quickly so you need to put these three commands uh, this basically indicates 20 minutes and uh, 
after 20 minutes it will automatically be cleared uh, from your cPanel uh, you know files this session file will be deleted so whichever is older than 20 it will be automatically cleared from the cPanel portal so yeah that's the second way to do it so uh, that's how you can reduce the nodes and you can see the node coming to less than 10,000 once you use this method and automatically it will be cleared if it's older than one day or uh, using the cron job or you can set it via the ini file as well so hope this helps i'll put all the commands uh, in the uh, description you can check that out and if you like the video please do the like button subscribe comment let's catch again next video until then see you bye